Hi guys, it's me, Indiana Jones. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please let me know in the comments below. Don't be shy. I'd like to learn about you. Also, love to find out how you learned about me. Is it through Heidi? Is it through a friend? Was it a YouTube search? Or were you just looking for the Indiana Jones theme song and found me instead? Well, regardless, I'm so glad you're here, especially since this is being hosted by the lovely Heidi Sambal. Heidi Sambal provides us so much content, so much inspiration through four separate channels. Can you believe that? She's amazing. Anyway, today's challenge or today's playlist theme is, you guessed it, it's farmhouse we got farmhouse yes that's right it's a farmhouse challenge and i put a little annie twist to it so i hope you like what, what i did um let's get to the farmhouse and let's get started oh i don't have a farmhouse is the kitchen counter okay yeah let's go to the kitchen counter all right let's go <laughs> what you'll need to create your wagon wheel is a hula hoop some dowels now there's two sizes, you can use the smaller ones, this little trinket box, or you can also use a ribbon spool. So save those ribbon spools. Now I'm just using some painter's tape to mark off the halves because we're going to have eight spokes. So I thought it would be easier to just mark off the half vertically then horizontally and then diagonally, as you'll see in just a moment. Now I have seen others making wagon wheels but I don't think anybody has ever used this method which I think is a lot easier. All we're going to do now once we've marked off where our spokes are going to be we're going to use our handy dandy glue guns. Mine happens to be a sure bonder. I'm still waiting for them to like notice me. One day, one day my sure bonder prints will come. So all I'm doing is using the heat from the glue gun. I'm not pressing as you can see I'm not pressing on the trigger and I'm just making holes all around the hula hoop, which will fit our dowels perfectly, as you can see somewhere there. Now, my dowels happen to be a little too long, so I'm just chopping them up with my handy dandy little saw. I tried to use some snips, but they weren't strong enough. So for Mother's Day gifts, children, my, my boys out there, your mom needs some uh, better tools for crafting. Now I'm just assembling my wagon wheel. Look how easy this is. You're just putting in your spokes. Boom, boom, boom. Just like that. One, two, three. And as you can see, they're all the same size spokes and you'll see why in just a minute. This little trinket box is absolutely perfect to make a wagon wheel. And you'll see it's because these spokes or these dowels fit right in to the back of the box and I'm just gluing down the spokes into the back of the box. It's amazing. It's the exact same size. And that's it. And then you flip it over and there you have it. You don't have to worry about those spokes falling out. Then I'm going to take this outside and spray it down. You can use silver or black. I used white for this example. Now you can go ahead and put your flower arrangement straight onto your wagon wheel, but because I want to use this all year long, I decided I was going to make a base out of uh, EVA foam. It's a little thicker EVA foam. I love using EVA foam and some moss ribbon. If you watched my moss truck, you saw me making it with some of this moss ribbon. So this is going to be the backdrop for my flowers and you'll see why. This way I can make it a wagon wheel that I could use all year long and just remove my flowers, save them until the next spring season or summer season. Here I am adding some eucalyptus. Who doesn't like eucalyptus? And I always love eucalyptus with anything farmhouse or shabby chic. I'm really getting into shabby chic. I've always liked shabby chic. So if you like it too, I'm going to be focusing more on that, especially for Mother's Day. I also love Mackenzie Childs and anything whimsical and fun just fun crafts, you know? So um, here I am just continuing to add greenery. The way I do my flowers is I usually add greenery first as my backdrop, and then I use my flowers to fill it in. I am lucky enough to have a bunch of flower buds that were donated to me by a friend of mine after she had a bridal shower. She just gave me a whole bunch of silk flowers and I have organized them by color, I know. That's crazy, but I like 
picking out a color and just saying, okay, I'm gonna use yellow, I'm gonna use blue or white, and that's the color schematics that I am using for this wagon wheel. Of course, every time I say wagon wheel, I wanna sing the song, Wagon Wheel by Darius Rucker. I don't wanna sing it here, because I don't wanna get hit, but it's a fun song. You gotta find it. Darius Rucker, Wagon Wheel. Now, here I am finishing up, adding some blue flowers and white flowers. I always love the combination of yellow, white, and blue. I selected this because I thought maybe later I could add some miniature lemons or something to the decor and I think it would be perfect for summertime. So now here is the flower arrangement on the wagon wheel itself. However, here's the fun part. Now I'm just going to add some of this um, wire. I, I can't remember what it, they're called, but you know what they're called. So they're these fuzzy wires. That's what I'm going to call them, the fuzzy wires. I'm just gluing them down and I'm going to add a little bit of burlap just to give it some extra support there and I should add a little more glue there I'll add it later and I just added two of those pipe cleaners we used to call them pipe cl pipe cleaners I don't think you guys call them pipe cleaners anymore but that's it I just added the pipe cleaners a little bit of burlap and now I can attach this to the wagon wheel without damaging the wagon wheel without damaging the paint and I can remove it anytime I want so I can have a wagon wheel all year long See how nice it looks? I mean, it's really, really nice. You don't damage the wagon wheel. And if I want to, I can add ribbons. I didn't want to add ribbons. I wanted to keep this nice and simple, very country fresh. And all I'm gonna do now is flip it over and just tie it down with those ties. You can also use zip ties if you don't have those um, pipe cleaners. But yeah, you can use zip ties, whatever it is that you want to use, you can use it. But just create a base so that you can remove it when it's done and you'll always have your wagon wheel ready for any season, any time, and you can just change it up all you want. I'm actually gonna make a, a few of these wagon wheels for my home decor. I want one in black as well, and maybe one in a pastel pink for my, my boudoir. So there you have it, a wagon wheel for your home. Hope you like it. For my next craft, my next farmhouse craft, I'm going to use this trash to treasure. I found this little cabinet door in the trash. I thought it was beautiful. It's all made of wood. And I thought also this is perfect for a farmhouse feel kind of decor. So here I'm using my Folk Art Titanium White Paint from the Plaid Family of Products. And I'm just using a little bit of baking soda to give it a, a little bit of a chalky feel. But again, just one coat, look how well this acrylic paint just covers in just one coat. Again, I cleaned this before I started painting and made sure it was nice and dry. Now, once this is done, I'm going to use a stencil that I bought at Holo, that's right, Hobby Lobby, and I got this on clearance for like, I don't know, it was ridiculous, like 75% off, so I think it was like $2. It was really nice. And again, this is farmhouse, but it's French country farmhouse. There are farmhouses in France and Spain and Italy so we can use that as well and this is basically saying something like a patisserie provence le petit gâteau gâteau of course means a little cake petite little cake so it's like a little cupcake sign i suppose and i'm using uh gray folk art paint it's dark gray and i i like the gray instead of just the black and white just to give it a little different kind of feel maybe a little more european Kind of feel and here comes the reveal gosh i always love stenciling and then revealing and showing how how well it came out or oh, what a mess i made but this time ta-da! it came out pretty good came out pretty well so now i'm just distressing it i used it right yes yes distressing i'm just distressing it because it's farmhouse this has been out in the barn and you know or at the at the cafe you know sitting in the back now this next step, you guys are gonna laugh at me because you're gonna say, why didn't you just drill it? I'm going to add some handles to make it look cute, but I didn't, ha I didn't have a drill and I was, I was lazy. So there's my drill. 
Yes, I know it's my glue gun, but let's pretend. Here we go again. Ready? There you go. There you go. Did that make you feel better? It made me feel better. It looks good. I'm just going to use it as decor anyway, so... To admit I had a lot of fun creating this so what we're going to need for this is those those little bubble signs some um, baking sheets and some of those tumbling blocks that you can find all at the Dollar Tree so if you haven't guessed what I'm about to create I am going to create some mini teardrop camper vans camper trailers because I thought it's so perfect for spring and for summer coming up now I have seen other people create camper van decor or trailer, trailer decor, teardrop, RV, I don't know, whatever you want to call them. I've seen people use them before, but they've actually used the camper decorations, wall decorations that you see, especially around Christmas time. I haven't seen, I didn't see any for the spring, but you see them around Christmas time and it goes along with a little Christmas red truck. But I thought this was a nice alternative. By the way, if you decide to do this, make sure you get out to the stores because I could only find two of these bubble signs. But uh, I really, really had fun putting this together. Now I'm using the tumble blocks because I'm going to make this into a 3D type of camper van. And you can keep it just as with the wood, but um, I wanted to add an additional, I guess, decor piece to it or aesthetic using the um, baking sheets and you'll see that in a moment. So there I am constructing the actual 3D effect of the camper van. I could have kept my little tumbling blocks a little straighter but that's fine. And as you see I kept the top open and you will see why. Now as he, right there you can see how nice it looks just with the wood but I really did want to use this um, baking sheet. I think this is a barbecue sheet. I thought it would be cool because I always liked the chrome on these vintage camper vans. I want a vintage camper van sometime in my life. I'll have a cute little vintage camper van. But this is, the, hey, this is step one. This is my little dream camper van. So all I'm doing is um, I'm going to fold this over so that it's safe. And guys, when you use this, uh, any kind of baking sheets when you cut into them they will cut you so make sure you wear gloves I have my little polka dot garden gloves and they're perfect because they do have uh, a rubbery inside so I will not get cut so just make sure if you're doing this please please wear gloves so all I'm doing is folding it over so that I don't cut myself when I handle the little camper van afterwards now here I am using one of my favorite colors again from Folk Art and this is like, I can't remember the name of the color, but it's that beautiful aqua blue. There it is, Folk Art. So I went outside first and I painted the entire project white and I covered it with I guess two, I think it was two layers of paint, two coats of paint I should say, and I just wanted to add this beautiful aqua teal blue that is my favorite color and it's just so perfect so perfect for summer coming up soon I forgot to mention of course you lay down your painters tape first so that you can have nice crisp clean edges as you can see that I have here and here I am painting the roof or the top of my camper van. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I can't wait till you see the end. Love it. And I do love the aesthetic of the blue and white, but I did want to add a little more whimsical dimension to my little camper van. Here comes the moment of truth when you take off the painter's tape to make sure that you covered it well and it looks nice. Here we go. Ready? 
Oh, no, it's still touching things up. And voila. Ooh, it's so satisfying when you see it just, oh, looks so nice. I know, I compliment my own work. You, you should, you should stand back and say, hey, I did a good job there. Now, I'm going to use, once again, putting my little gloves on, I'm going to use this baking sheet. I forgot what it's, it's a lasagna sheet or something. But I got one that didn't have a lot of divots and stuff. And from there, I'm going to create my little door. Once again, just folding all the edges over so I don't have any raw edges. Now, before I put the door down, I decided I wanted to decoupage some flowers. Yes, can you see this? It's such a little hippie camper van. I love it. So here we go with Mod Podge to the rescue because it's from the Plaid family of products. I love Mod Podge. Love decoupaging. This is this project had like all the things I love to do. Paint, decoupage, creating something cute, using that blue. Oh gosh, I love doing this. I, I'm definitely gonna make a heck of a lot more of these camper vans once I find more of those conversation bubbles. So just using a napkin, and this is one of those Easter napkins as well. Oh, my little roly-poly thing from, my squeegee roly-poly thing from Plaid. So yes, gather those, go to the Dollar Tree now after Easter and get all those lovely floral napkins for this project and all your Mother's Day projects coming up. All we're gonna do now is add our little door and our little miniature window. This is the fun part. You can make your camper look like anything at all that you prefer. And of course, I'm going to add a little shelf for my miniature little flowers. I actually created that for another video, but yeah, these cute little miniature flowers that you can get at the Dollar Tree. And then our camper needs some wheels. So I used some IOD molds and some air dry clay to make these little flowers, which I'm going to attach to an empty spool of thread which is going to be the axle for my wheel. It's actually going to be my wheel. But before that, I'm letting those little flowers dry and I'm going to add my chrome to the top of my camper van. As you can see, that hole at the top of the camper van will become very useful in just a moment. But instead of seeing that gaping hole all the time, now I can cover it with my chrome. And yes, the chrome has holes in it. You'll see why in a moment. So there's my roof, and I'm just going to cover the whole area outside of the camper van with my chrome. And here's my spool of thread that's empty, and I'm going to make it into my wheel. Here are my little hubcaps made out of pink flowers. I mean, this is so much fun. Like, Barbie didn't have a camper this cute. <laughs> so now I'm going to attach my wheels and I don't know if I attached it in the wrong place I just kept thinking well I can't put the wheel right under the door but this is how I easily attach the wheel once again using some of that uh, aluminum tray and that's how I'm going to attach the wheel to the bottom of my camper super easy and there you have it now you'll see why I left the top of my camper open and used that barbecue pan that had the holes in it so that I can use the camper as a floral decoration. I just thought it would be fun to have a useful camper van and just instead of just, you know, something for decor, well, this is for decor and more. So I can put my little wildflowers and I can change them out for the seasons, which is a lot of fun as well. And I can also paint the other side of the camper any color I want so I can even have it for Christmas red or green or whatever color I choose it to be. It's so much fun. I hope you guys try making this yourselves. I had some recording issues, but that's okay. I just wanted to share my favorite project of the day. I also wanted to share my gratitude towards Heidi for hosting this playlist and to each and every one of you for visiting. And as I always like to say, stay safe, be kind, 
God bless you. And remember to live the adventure. Hope to see you again soon. Please like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Love this. DIYs, thrift flips, store hauls, life crafting, decor, and more. It's all here at Indiana Jones. Try it out. <laughs>